Hello, and welcome back to the joy of coloring. I'm your host, Rob Voss. And today, we're gonna be drawing this beautiful banana tree. Now, I like to start with a nice new box of Crayola colored pencils. They have 24 colors, but their packs come with 12, 24, 48, or get this, 96 colored pencils. Amazing. Crayola, not sponsored, but I'd love to be sponsored. Huge shout out, love Crayola. They do their things cheap way. And for all you folks at home, sharpening a pencil nowadays is super, oh my God, look at that. We're gonna turn this into an ASMR here pretty soon. You hear that? You hear that? Amazing. We even got these, listen to the nice fine wood. Do you hear that folks at home? Mm. Mmm, it's fantastic. All right, so let's get started on this tree, okay? And uh, we're gonna start here with adding a nice blue background, a nice steel shafted blue, okay? Now, where does it go? I don't know what direction it goes. It's your world, folks, just slowly. But surely, add some lines in it. Give it some nice depth, okay? It might look bad now, but trust me, it's a world of your own. It's a world of your own. Okay, so now, when you've got that blue, you're just going to <laughs> slowly, but surely, get it nice and blue. Now let me show you. See that blue? It's gorgeous. Okay, so now you're gonna get a nice bowel movement brown, <laughs> okay? You know what, I'm sorry. I misspoke there. We're gonna get a nice noir, okay? And you're just gonna draw this bowl, okay? Doesn't have to be exact, just draw this bowl, okay? You're just gonna draw it. Nice, nice bowl. A bowl that you could eat cereal with with your grandmother. A bowl that just reminds you of home. Okay? There it is. There's the bowl. Okay? Straight out of Cartoon Network. All right. So now, the soil. We're going to get a really nice brancetta. Okay? Brancetta for the soil. Just gonna draw it in. Draw the soil in where it goes, I don't know. You can even add a little pebble if you want to, okay? See, soil, it's amazing. We're getting there, folks. Doesn't take long. So now, your bowel movement brown, okay? Now you're just gonna draw this stem right here, okay? Just start there. Add a nice stem, really robust, right in there. Put a little pressure on your, on your finger. For all you left-handed, it's, it's your left finger, not your right, because that's just weird. You wouldn't just add pressure there. So there's one. You're going to add another one here. And another one here. And where it goes, I don't know. It's your world, OK? Add some texture. Add some texture. Connect them all, OK? Connect them all, OK? Just make it look like an actual tree. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. It's where I'm at. I'm at here, okay? <laughs> You're gonna take <laughs> a nice version, as some people would call it, or good ganja green, okay? Add your leaves in there, okay? Where they go, I don't know, add them. Make it look nice, okay? Back to the noir when you're done with adding leaves, Put a nice little bird in there, okay? They're flying behind there. And then, last but not least, see this? You're gonna sign your name at the bottom. Bob, Rob Voss, okay? Right there. And that's your painting. Thanks for watching. Joy of drawing. 
I'm your host, Rob Voss, signing out. Hello and welcome back to What's Cooking. I'm your host, Chef Nick Kinney, and today we're going to be making something very special. A world famous, you ready for this? TLT, Turkey Lettuce Turkey. Now this was shown on renowned food critic, Dude Fiari, and we're going to be making it in-house today. Now, what is the basic to a turkey lettuce turkey sandwich, you might be asking. Now, we need home-baked and, and valued. You need the valued, valued white bread, OK? Great value provolone cheese, OK? Market side shredders, I, shredded iceberg lettuce and turkey, but not any turkey, the oven roasted turkey breast, OK? Now there's one thing missing. What's a condiment that everybody loves? Mustard? No. Hellman's mayonnaise, OK? Now that we have all of our ingredients, let's begin. You're going to unwrap this twist tie, which I can never understand. My IQ is a little low. You're going to get the best two slices of bread. Doesn't matter if it's in the front, in the back. I'm going to go in the, in the middle, because that's the best part, OK? Throw them down on a clean surface. Make sure your hands are clean, folks. Come on. Don't be unsanitary. Clean your hands, unlike I did. OK, now that we have our two loaves of bread, you might be wondering, what comes next? Usually people do meat or cheese. Y'all doing it wrong. I'm telling you. Start with the mayonnaise, with a weapon. A plastic weapon, of course. You don't want to get arrested. So you just take a nice, lots of mayonnaise. <laughs> you just put it on the bread. And you spread that. Spread that like glue. Because it is glue. It's going to act like glue. OK? On both sides of the bread, people make a mistake. One slice has to be heavier on the mayo than the other, OK? Now the mayonnaise is spread, OK? You're going to take the shredded iceberg, just a handful, a dollop, a dollop of lettuce, OK? Now what side do you put it on? The heavier mayonnaise side. Now as you can see, it's going to act as a glue. You don't want the Big Mac effect, OK? You don't want your lettuce falling off the back. You want that good shredded iceberg lettuce. Now that you have your lettuce finished, okay? Oven roasted turkey. Take just a couple slices of the processed fake turkey. Throw it on this white bread, okay? Give it the nice rolls. You want to see the rolls, okay? You want to see that. Now, next, you're going to take two slices of provolone. And you're just going to put it right on top of the turkey. Now, when folding the sandwich together, don't grab the lettuce side bread. Grab the turkey and cheese side bread. Fold it in. Give it a nice little press. And you're going to cut. Now, I don't know how some people cut. Some people cut right down the middle. I like a triangle. You, you can hear that crunch of the lettuce. Great lettuce. Now let's get a nice little cross section going here. Ready for this? Oh, wow. Now we're going to have one lucky viewer come on down from the live audience. Seat B52, come on down. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's me. Oh, oh my, my god, goodness. that's me. Do Chef you, Nick, oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so good. Would you like a bite? Sir? Oh my god, it looks so good. Here, let's have a bite together. Which one would you like? I'm going to take this one. Okay. Wow. Wow. Ready? Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Did you like mm -hmm. that sandwich? Mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I might just have to eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You should have toasted the bread. I think that might be a key, but it is fantastic. It is fantastic. Three bites, everyone knows the rules. Three bites, everybody knows the rules. Mm. What's your rating? Mm. 
I give it a 7.8. 7.8. Wow. I give it a 6.9. And wow. thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hi. Welcome to Game Talk. My name is Alex, and this is Tyler. Today we have a Nintendo Switch with us. It is Tyler's. He's going to show us how to use it. Okay. Well, just a little bit of background for Nintendo Switch. It did come out in <clears throat> March 3rd. 2017, mm -hmm. and one of the games that was released for it was actually Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. uh, and overall, it's just like a hybrid console of like, mm -hmm. you know, it's supposed to take like the portable console, portable console concept and home console and bring it and in one. And combine it, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so for right now, we have the home screen, which is beautifully like designed to just have all your applications all on one screen and just navigate with such from here, and if you want to play games, so for, so for the Switch, you actually do download the games as well as like games on like a cartridge. Cartridges. Okay. Now, funny thing with this is that because children are children, they actually like to you know put stuff in their mouth. So yeah, little idiots. Nintendo thought this brilliant idea of putting just like. A coating, as you say, around highly toxic the cartridges. Coating? Yeah, well, not really toxic, just <laughs> very not pleasant to put in your mouth, and as such, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Usually, that's usually I'm really immune to that. Uh, <laughs> it tastes toxic. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, you, I am not licking that. Are you sure you don't want to lick that? I'm, I am damn sure. It, it tastes fantastic. <laughs> oh, for, fine. I'll lick your cartridge. Oh, that is gross. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. <laughs> to put in a game cartridge, it's worse with time. <laughs> Honestly, it's a fascination that a lot of YouTubers have been doing, so... It's just, I don't know, to eat your own. Yep. Yeah. So you put in a game cartridge, all you do is flip, in, flip this slot right here, mm. just for people to see. And then you just <laughs> plug in like that. All right, so what game are we playing today? We're going to be playing Mario Kart. Yay. Now, obviously I have another game open, so I'm just going to close it. Doesn't really matter. That still tastes bad. <laughs> it is very disgusting. And the beauty of the Switch is it looks like you can do, it looks like it's only just playable, which is, you know, just a two cards itself. Yeah. yeah. But the Joy Cons come off. Yep. There's buttons on the back to where you can take off the Joy Cons. Let me show you. And here Boom. is a Joy Con. There's a Joy Con and another Joy Con. Look at this, uh -huh. fancy color. It comes in multiple colors. Uh, red, blue, gray, which is not my favorite. Yellow, also not my favorite. Pink and green. And white, as you can see. Well, white's more of a custom color, but we're not gonna get into that. Ah, it's, you interesting. Know, off market. So, we're going to start with this, sorry. Maybe we should put it here, maybe. Yeah, hold so on. So they can see it and we can see it. Yeah, because I'm not a master at Mario Kart. Me either. So we're going to do multiplayer, and you want to play Mario Kart, basically, you have your basic controls. Oh, so hit the S, R, and SL button right here, just so you can connect your controller. There we go. Perfect. And you want to pick a character. I will be, where is, is Dry Bowser on there? Yes. Yep, he is right there. Yep. And then A. Or I'm um, the right button, B. sorry. One more time. Have any issues? Oh, that was oh. the left button. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know my left from right. It's OK. I'm a small child, hence licking the cartridge, which I still regret. <laughs> uh, oh. I'll take the weird flying squirrel thing. Yep, so I want to pick that. And unfortunately, we are running short on time. But just so I teach you the controls of Mario Kart, it is going to be 
the drift button is going to be the SR right here. Mm -hmm. Item's going to be SL, and control set to move. But yeah. Uh, Actually, that's all the time we have yeah, for today. Yeah, that's all the so. time we have. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess we don't actually get to show you the game on game today. Well, what can I say? That's life. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matt Dravik, and, I, and welcome to another episode of Saints of the Fisher. Today, we're going to learn <laughs> something every good saint needs to know. How to put together your Nikon camcorder. So taking pictures is a really good way to channel your inner, innerized emotions into something productive. But you, you first need to know how to put the camera together so you can actually take the pictures and videos. Otherwise, how are you going to be able to show off your amazing skills as an artist? So first, make sure you have the SD card, which I got right here. And we're going insert, to insert it into the camera on along the right hand side. Um, hopefully everyone uses a 64 gigabyte, oops, there we go, uses a 64 gigabyte uh, data card like the one I use. It will be able to hold more than enough. Um, but if not, don't worry about it. Try and grab something that's going to be close to it. Um, you just don't want to be filling up your memory card every couple minutes with pictures. So, um, so like I said, just insert the card, boom, now you're ready to record and take pictures. All of your information is going to be saved right here to this, court, or to this card. Next, you're going to need the battery. Um, I also recommend everyone to get a nice little traveling case. It makes things really easy. Um, so the battery, um, you're going to find right here. I think I actually forgot to undo mine. Mine's actually already in. Um, but the battery is going to come with a charger like this. Um, it can take up to three hours to charge, and it can hold, I don't know, the batteries don't last as long as you would hope for them to last, but they have a good bit of life in them. Um, but like I said, could take up to three hours to charge, so make sure before you go, maybe the night before or something, you put your battery on the charger um, so you're good and ready. Um, after that, though, you are going to need to do something so you can actually take good pictures. And the first thing is, is you're going to need a lens. So in order to get the lens on, you're going to unscrew the cap. There we go. Then you're going to take this plastic coating or protective coating off. Take this, line it up so it's just so somewhere. Don't want to break it. Okay, this isn't going as planned. There we go. So like that, you get it nice and locked in. After, you can take the, ca the camera cap off and you're good to go. Um, so after that, in order to take the pictures, you gotta make sure you turn the, you turn the camera on. Um, so what you're gonna do is there's a little switch right here. It's also gonna be your shutter button. So if you just flip this into the on position, your camera will be obviously turned on. And then depending on the type of camera you have, you might have a display that's going to be just right on the camera. This one is actually going to open up and pop open like this. And you get your display right over here. So you can see all of the pictures you're taking and whatnot. You can also go through and zoom in on pictures that you've previously taken. Um, really cool concept. But you can also almost use it as when you're taking your picture, you can use this to focus on. Or you can actually go up to the old school, old school style and take your pictures like this. Um, the cameras have tons of different um, photo, or <laughs> photos, different uh, modes on it. So you can take pictures for all sorts of different uh, occasions. There's a sport mode. So if you're at a sporting event, you can get some faster uh, if things are happening a little bit quicker, there's a portrait mode, so you can take really nice portraits, especially if you're taking like a photo for your LinkedIn page. You know, you want to be looking all spiffy and fancy for those potential hi or hirers. Um, but I think another nice thing is about having this camera is now you can just go along and you can take pictures whenever you want of things that you really enjoy. Um, you can go out to a nice meadow and you know you can hang around, take some pictures of some beautiful flowers. Maybe you see a doe prancing through the prancing through the fields. Um, so really whatever you like. But uh, most importantly, though, when you're done, make sure you put your camera away the, the way it's supposed to. So we're going to just go in reverse order. We're going to turn our camera off. We're going to take our cap. We're going to put the cap on. We're going to take the camera off, or the lens off, hopefully. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, you know what I would mean. So we're just going to leave it on for right now. Um, but since I have to leave it on, I can't put it in the bag. But essentially, we would put it all back in our bag, zip this thing up, good to go. Um, and that's about it. So I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming today and listening and tuning in. Um, I'm happy I was able to show you how the Nikon camera works. So thank you. My name is Matt Dravik. Have a great day. No, no, I didn't wash my hands. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to the Great Canadian Bake Show. I'm your host, Chef Joe Gala, a former executive chef at Golden Corral, and joining me here is Katy Perry. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing all right, you know, get through each day. Yeah. Tell me what you're going to be helping me make here. So we're making vanilla frosting, and it's pretty basic with ingredients. It's just going to be a lot of stirring. To start off, you have two sticks of butter at room temperature, mm -hmm. and then you just add some powdered sugar, some vanilla, and some whipping cream here. So All right. You want to get it right into yeah, it? Yeah. So let's just let, let's hold our horses here for a second, just for okay. the for those at home. So let's just take it step by step. So it's the first thing that we want to do after we have our um, after we have our creamy butter here. I don't know if anyone wants to get a visual of that, but yeah, there it is. Yep. So that's your creamy butter, and then. What do we right. do next? So we get three cups of powdered sugar and we stir it into the butter. So okay, honey. Well, ladies first. Well, this is going to be really messy because right. powdered sugar is evil. So yeah. So we just get three cups of this. Yeah. You can take that first one if you want. It's a pouch. Well, I said ladies first. I wouldn't. I would want to be a man of my word. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. So you can start stirring that in because it'll take a while to start stirring. Okay. In. Oh dear. Yeah, powdered sugar is really um, messy, so you just gotta be aware if you're trying to be neat about it. There's no option. So sorry. Right. Sometimes you make messes in life. Yeah. But it's not about the mess you make. It's how you clean it up. Yep. So you just start stirring that. Once you feel like you have the first cup mixed in, you just add the next one and so right. on. Right. Until we get all three cups. This would be easier Can I use with this one. Yeah, go for it. Thanks. This would be easier with an electric mixer. Um, right. Well, you know, we can't all have Food Network budgets, Katy Perry. Yeah, so. of course. Um, so we're going to do it um, broke college kid style. So. So yeah. So you just mix that in. I really have nothing else. Into yeah, me. this looks good. <laughs> it looks real good. Oh yeah, look at that. Someone want to get a get a visual on that. Mm. Now that looks good. All right, I'm ready for the next step. I want to I want to get the show on the road. All right. So after you have your three <laughs> cups in, <laughs> you do a teaspoon of vanilla. So you can. I'm still stirring. Mine. You want me to? Okay. You go for it. So how much like do I? <laughs> how much do I put in? Is that even open? I guess not. Ugh. Somebody's fired. Oh no. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna. <laughs> there we go. We got a little bit of it in there. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. Just be careful, it uh, spews out at you. Then once after that, then you just add in your the whooping cream, which is right here. I'll open this just <laughs> at this rate. <laughs> just pour it in. You know, these are just the fun times that we have here in the kitchen. If you're not laughing, you know, you're not, you're not baking, not, at least not the Canadian way. Oh, yeah, not listen bad. to that. Oof. Oh, yeah, someone want to get a... Listen to that. That, my friends, is, is the, if delicious had a sound to it, that's what it would sound like. Yep. And that's pretty much it. You just take yeah. more time. So yeah, once you're done, then you will have frosting. Hopefully. So why don't you, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you, uh, are you single? Are you seeing anyone? Or? I'm single. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I feel that. 
How about you? you know, yeah, yeah, you possible? know, I mean, it's, it's sort of complex. I mean, like, I've been talking to this girl, but like, she's not, she's not like from here. Mm. Yeah, she's from Jupiter, so it's like, I don't know, like a long distance thing. Well, that's But again, I guess, it's not about but... the distance. It's about the distance of your heart. And with that, I think that's all the time that we have for today. <laughs> Look at that beautiful frosting. Join me next time uh, when we join Elton John, who is going to be presenting us with his pumpkin pie recipe. And who knows, he may even show us his secret ingredient. Hello, and welcome to Doctor to Person, and I am the doctor. I'm Dr. Joseph Gala, and today our normal person is Marty McFly. And today, Marty, I hear you have some questions for me. Uh, what, I mean, what, what could they possibly be? Absolutely, doctor. I'm dealing with a problem you might have heard of, but also I want to first off say I'm a huge fan, huge Ooh. fan, but... You might want to wash your hands now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, stick, to, let's stick to maybe I, just keeping our hands to ourselves, all right, Marty? <laughs> I've been having an issue for the past couple of years. My whole family is afflicted with it, and uh, it's a terrible, terrible illness called the common cold. Uh, mm. I'm sure you've heard of it. Is there any, mm -hmm. any way to prevent the spread of this terrible, terrible disease? Yeah, you know, Marty, you, you've, uh, you've, you've come to the right place. So I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again to the audience. You guys already know. Uh, you know what I'm going to say here, everyone in the audience? You, yeah, okay. Everybody knows what I'm going to say. Don't be a hose. Wrap your nose, okay? There are a lot of things that you can do in order to stop the spread of this disease. Now, according to my personal friend and colleague, Dr. Hugh Janus, there are simply five things, only five things. Can you even count to five, Marty? Probably not. That you can do to stop the spread of the common cold. Oh, there is, really? What is it, yeah, well, that's Dr. What I, that's Dr. What I Janus? Said. Don't, listen, that's another thing. Don't interrupt me, all right? Is that a, sorry. Set, set some ground rules I'm here. Sorry, no touching, no interrupting me, okay? Is that, all right, sounds good. Sorry, wow. Dr. Janus. Uh, okay. All right, doc, according to Dr. Janus, you must cover your nose. <laughs> you must cover that nose of yours, okay? That's the first thing. If, you're, if you don't, then you're going to end up making things harder down the road. So don't be that person that sneezes onto another human during a common conversation, okay? Because that is just absolutely disgusting. So we really wouldn't want to do that. Achoo! Oh, I'm so sorry, Dr. J. Okay. Oh my, oh, my God. Okay. Um, oh, my God. All right. Rule number one. All right, Marty. We're not even two minutes into this thing, and you've got to go ahead and do that, okay? Is, is this really a... F okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay. <sighs> Rule number one. Never, ever do that again, or I will slit your throat, okay? Oh, number two. Wash, wash those grubby paws of yours, all right? I, I, I know some guys have an issue doing their business, and then they somehow like forget to wash their hands, or I see some of y'all, and, and you look like the type that be going in and then just running the water under your hands, <sighs> as if that just like wa washes the bacteria away. Like, uh, how stupid could you possibly be? Anyway, you can't be doing that, all right? I don't, I don't want that. I don't, want, I don't ever want you to seize on me again, or I'm going to lose my sh Anyway. I'll make sure I do that. Yeah, Dr. Awesome, Janus. Awesome. That's great. No, I'm well, I'm not Dr. Janus. Oh, I'm Dr. Joseph okay. Gala. Sorry. Right. Sorry, Dr. Gala. Hey, Janus. Yeah. Okay. You know, Marty, you you don't have to like respond every time oh, I say I don't. something. See, and this, uh, this is I'm really thing. sorry, hey, Dr. Hey, buddy, Jane. listen to me. This is the thing that I've, I've been trying to tell you throughout the social... Like, I don't need you interrupting me, okay? You're, okay, you're, I'll, just, I'll just sit over here now. Yeah, I'm sorry. you will sit over there. Okay. Are you going to ever help me with that, that case of the cold I have? How, well, yeah, I'm, we I'm, get I'm back trying to, to get to okay. that, Marty okay. McFly, okay? okay, okay, okay all right? All right, see, there you go again, all right? L listen up here, time boy, all right? Listen to me, all right? Get your peepers on me. Just stop talking. Okay. And finally, Dr. Janus makes statements that every person of all genders, all 100 of them, make sure to take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, well, simply, you're a bum. It's, 29, it's 2018, okay? Almost 2019. All right, get a grip on yourself, okay? Do your thing.
So, Joe, so what Dr. You, no, listen, I want to ask you a question now, Marty, okay, if that even is your real name. What have you learned today? What are some of the things you've learned? Um, probably to Speed ne it up. never, never um, um, sneeze on you ever again. Yep, nope, never and sneeze on me. Or I will pop you like a zit. Wash my hands, don't just r run them under the, right. the you water. Right, you nasty little... Like I God. always do, he caught me. Yep. And I think that that's the valuable lesson I learned here today is really not to sneeze on you ever again. I'm sorry about that, Dr. Janus. Yeah. I am not Dr. Janus, okay? You will not disrespect the name of Hugh Janus, okay? Don't ever. All right, we have to wrap up. I'm Dr. Joe Gallup, PhD, MBA, WWE, 2K11, and, and we are signing off. Hi, and welcome to Upside Down, your home for everything that's not right side up. I'm Thomas Clark, your host, and today joining me is Nicholas Kenny. Hi, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming. So, Nick, <laughs> what are you what are you going to be showing us today? Um, today I'm just going to be playing some tunes while we have conduct an interview. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll show you how to. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to play. You're going to show me how to play. How to play a riff. Okay. How to play a riff. Yeah. What's a riff? A riff is a repetitive chord. Mm hmm. What's a a chord. a chord, okay. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. We're really doing this. Mm -hmm. So a chord is comprised of different notes that all sound really good together. Uh, what's an example? An of example a of a chord is a C chord would be first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string, third fret. And it all sound like <laughs> That's like, a pretty. Whoa. That's a pretty Come sound. That, that's that that's music. Making right there. That's music to my ears. Literally. Uh, literally. That's music to my ears. Now, with this simple chord, you can play anything. You can compromise anything together, and it'll sound anything from to or if you switch it up a little bit. Put a finger anywhere, really. Just put a finger anywhere anybody wants, for real. No one will complain. It'll sound like something. This is, <laughs> you can quickly turn a C into a D. Oh, can you? Yeah, you can. And that is first finger, second fret on the high E string, and then second, third finger, hold on, so sorry. Okay. Third finger, third fret, B string, and then that second finger in the middle, like you're flipping somebody off, is gonna go on the, in the G string, second fret, and that is a D chord. That's that's a nice sound. I like that a lot better than the C chord. You do, but yeah. maybe we can work into. I really, I really like the D. Oh, me too. I agree. D is my favorite, especially when you turn D into D's nuts. Am I right, Thomas? So you're so right. <laughs> next chord is going to be an E minor. Super easy chord. <laughs> You take your two fingers like this, mm -hmm. okay? Wrap it around the guitar, and on the A and the D string, thanks. Now that's... Is that a step up from the D? I don't think it is. I think is D... That a, is that an E chord or an E minor chord? E minor. Mm -hmm. You said E chord. Well, here's an E chord, I'm sorry. That's... I was gonna say, the other one made me a little sad. But yeah, that one makes me a little happy. This you know? one makes you a little happier than Yeah, this not one. as happy as the D makes me, but Yeah, you know. D makes me the happiest. Like, oh, the D. Love it. <laughs> so you can quickly turn those three chords into a song. You just, yeah. Ooh. What you can do. And you just literally, have you seen that vine? Have you seen that, that vine? That vine? That he's the like, one? He's like, I love you. <laughs> I ain't ever gonna stop loving you. I have seen that vine. Anything, literally it's a just very good vine. Pick now, up a guitar, kids, and just get do get to it. Get to it. We've been talking a lot about this hand, but you know, oh. I'm wondering what's happening over here with the magic right. What, magic what, what, right. What is all this you're doing? It's this is a strum. Mm -hmm. You just take. I usually take my nail because I don't know why. I just like my nails. I don't have a fetish or anything, I just like my nails. And you just go across all the strings, make sure you hit all the strings. And if you have a pick, which I do not, I'm sorry, you can strum down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, and just
just keep doing it. And it creates a tune. Yeah. You're not a pick man? I I do like a pick, but for certain songs you go from finger picking, which is literally you just take your fingers and you pick all the strings, to a um, an actual pick, which will physically grab every string for you. Well, Nick, it has been wonderful. Oh, thanks. Absolutely man. wonderful having you here. And we're gonna start to wrap up, but before we do, as we're going out, could you please play me the song of my people? The song of your people? Yes, sir. What's your people? I got many people songs. You can't tell. Okay. Well, from the vibe I'm getting, it sounds like Thomas likes a good Dave Matthews. That's true. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Upside Down, your home for everything that's not right side up. We'll see you next time. Hi, and welcome to Trevor Talk. I'm your host, Trevor. And with me today is, I'm very excited about this, is the great Harold Ronald only my stage name, please. The great Joe Dini. <laughs> so, so Joe, I understand that you're gonna show us some tricks today. Yeah, I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't think of them so much as tricks, as just like, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, Trevor, is I'm gonna alter your perceptions of reality and what you deem possible in your physical realm, now, as you people like to call it. I would like to say that the great Joe Dina here was a semi-finalist on America's Got Talent. Isn't that right? Yeah, you know what that is right now. I'd like to take a second to talk to you. Not even I'm not even going to do Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell was great. You, Howie Mandel, I got something I want to say to you, okay? This is off, this is off the record. You know what? Screw you, Howie, Howie Mandel, okay? Bacteria is everywhere, okay? There's no reason why you need to be afraid of it, okay? You're just a wimp and you're a coward and I should have been the winner of America's Got Talent. I should be the one with the, with the show in Las Vegas, okay? The person that did win was a 12 year old. She played violin Yeah, and what did, what did she do? She played violin with her feet. I know, it's, it's, and it was impressive. It was very impressive. How are, you gonna, how are you gonna do multiple shows of that in Las Vegas? It's the same thing every time. She Spice probably, it up, homegirl. She could probably play a different song, but that's not the point. Let's, let's see some of these tricks. All right, ready? Not tricks. Right, not right, tricks. Right, right. Okay, so I want you to imagine, what I have here in my hand are four jacks. What I want you to imagine is that these four jacks are bank robbers and they're brothers. And we're gonna go through them. And this right here is our okay. bank. So we have our jack of diamonds, right? He is the leader of the group. So basically, he's calling the shots out here, sure. all right? And then what we have is the jack of hearts. He's the guy that goes in and shuts down all the security cameras. Then we over have here, we have, that wasn't even a statement, but you know what? It is. We have the jack of clubs right here. This guy, he's the strong man of the group, okay? He doesn't, he doesn't mess around and he has to do those, those special tasks. And then what we have is the jack of spades. And the reason why the jack of spades is on the top mm -hmm. this time, Trevor, is because he is the lookout and he has to make sure that nobody is coming. Because if they do come, he needs to make sure that he can call the police. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our jacks and we're gonna put them into various spots throughout the deck. Meanwhile, the jack of spades, keeping a lookout. So they're all in there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let them, let them rob the bank. But the police, do, the the police do show up and the jack of spades, he knows his job. He's been training for this since he was three years old. He's the young. lookout and he calls all the jacks back up. Oh my to the top. God. To the great Joe Dini. Joe, Dini. Joe, Joe, look back here. How did you accomplish such such a feat? Why are we even here? I don't know. I I get paid. You, to I be know here. you don't know. <laughs> I know you don't know. Would you like to shuffle the cards, Trevor? I'm not a very good shuffler. Do I have to like? That's what Elvis Presley said. Did he? Mm -hmm. That's that's fun. I would know. You, can you talk to him? Do you, do you know him? But it is a how-to segment. I 
I'm just running. I shuffled it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So, here's what we're going to do here. Okay. I want you to pick a card, any card. Standard trick, but you know, we're going to take it easy on old Trevor here. Pick a card. Now I want you to memorize that card that you've just picked out. Okay? I want you to memorize it. Uh -huh. I want you to know every little detail about it. I want you to know its sexual orientation. I want, it, I want you I to know really if it had daddy issues. It, I want you, well, I need you uh, to yeah. know. And I, then what I want you to do you is I have want. A conversation with it? No, we don't okay. have time for that. I want you to put them on the top of one of these three decks. Perfect. Here's what we're going to do. I'll tell you what. We're going to put this down. We're going to take this. And we're going to put it here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go through all of the cards. They're the four jacks, the bank Whoa. robbing brothers. I thought you said you shuffled this deck. I did Trevor. shuffle the deck. <sighs> Rookies, I swear to God. You know, I'm just going to, I'm just putting them all through. I'm just getting them all out here. You see this? Yeah, I see it. It's precision. Yeah. Years of my life training for this moment. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is taking a really long time. we got to wrap stuff up. We got to wrap it up, Joe. <laughs> OK. OK. Here's what I want you to do. Hurry up, nobody, Joe. Nobody panic. Joe, hurry up. Nobody panic. Okay? I'm panicking, Joe. Hello, and welcome to the SGFC Studio Production feature. Another how-to today. Today we have Megan, and she's going to demonstrate some quick stretches and exercises for us. How are you today, Megan? I'm good. How are you? Today, I'm going to demonstrate some um, stretching exercises and some ab exercises. What's the, uh, the first thing you got for us today? All right, so first we're going to start off with some stretching. So if we're going to reach down and touch our right leg. I, I can't touch my toes. You can go as far, far as you can. <laughs> Usually I hold this for about 15 <laughs> seconds, but today we're going to hold it for five. So five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, next one. Now we're going to go to our left leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> and this gets your um, calf muscles and your hamstrings stretched. So now we're going to reach down the middle. Five, four, three, two, one. So now we're going to do a butterfly exercise. Have you ever done that before? It's like a half second break. <laughs> Have you ever done a butterfly exercise? You mean like you mean like ones that like fly in the air? Uh, similar. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to touch your feet together, mm -hmm. and you're going to bring your head all the way down to your toes. Well, as far as you can get. Ready? <laughs> 10, 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You all stretched out? I think we don't have a groin anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to move into our ab exercises. The first one we're going to do is a forearm plank. Okay. So what you're going to do is get down on your forearms mm -hmm. and then lift yourself off the ground, but make sure your butt stays down. Like this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you should feel this in your lower ab muscles. How much longer? Well, usually I hold it for about a minute, but I guess Jesus. with you we can hold it for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Feel it? I feel, I, well, I feel something. All right. Next, we're going to do some sit-ups. Both of us? Yes. So if you <laughs> put your legs like this, and you're going to go down, and then you're going to sit up. OK? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do 10. But cross your arms like this. OK. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ten. Eight, two more. Nine, ten. How are you feeling? Good, good. Okay, good. good. Fantastic. All right, next we're going to do a side plank. So it's kind of like the plank. plank. Yeah, but that was a forearm plank. We have to get both sides now. Jesus. So go on your forearm, mm -hmm. put your feet like this. Mm -hmm. Now lift yourself off the ground mm -hmm. and take this arm and reach up. So this kind of gives you more balance. 
We're gonna hold it for about five seconds because we still have to do the other arm. Of course. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Now switch. Usually it's a minute each way, but we'll stick to five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not doing it. a minute. <laughs> Ready? Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Tired yet? I'm feeling it. Good. Right. So now, I know you play soccer, so are there any like other ab exercises or stretches that you like to do? Um, we do a lot of uh, moving stuff before, but like after games, we usually hit some of these. Mm -hmm. Put your, yeah, you got it. She's got it. She's killer. I don't really count. I just kind of do it till I, til you, til you're I done? feel it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah it, was like, it was like pretty good and shake it out. <laughs> and then we switch to the other leg. Hey, you feel like that? You're yeah, natural. I feel the stretch. And then uh, maybe, you know, I, I mean, I play goalie, so we get, get some of these in there. We play basketball. I don't know if you do these or not, but we get some of these. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for coming on with us. Mm -hmm. I hope you learned something about stretching and exercise. See you next time. Welcome back to today's show. We're going to learn how to maintain some good posture. I'm your host, Justin Miles. So posture, it's a magnificent thing. Um, you know, turn on for few, but uh, turn off for many. You know, it's real boner deflator, if you would say. Uh, you know, posture of mine, I, I don't know how in the world I'm going to find the time to fix it, you know? Like, who has the time yeah, to fix your posture? Alter alternatively, many hardworking Americans pay little, if any, attention to their hunched shoulders, you know? For, for 40 hours a week, you know, they're slumped down, yeah. they're sitting at a desk. You know, who cares? No one has the time to think about that. They're drifting farther and farther away from their original state, right? Horrible. Sleazy, some might say. Posture affects us in many ways. But do you want to know the scariest part of it? What's the scariest part? Do you want part? to know the scariest part? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. Do you want to know? I want to know. Make your neck stick out like a freaking turtle, man. Huh. That's interesting. Turtle. Now, I don't know about you, but I didn't want to be nicknamed Turtleneck for the rest of my life. No. So let me invite you to the seat of knowledge. Seat of knowledge? It's my seat, not your seat. Okay. Um, and, and together, we're going to understand how to fix these tragedies, man. We're going to understand why they happen. Sounds we're good. We're going to fix it. Bad posture. Uh, can be caused by a number of different movements, all right? One movement could come in the shape uh, or form of muscle spasms, you know? Exactly. You, you saw it here first, folks. Anyone can get muscle spasms, no matter what. You could, you could, re you could refuse to stretch uh, before lifting or even pressing the delete button <laughs> millions of times. But still waking up and realizing that Donald Trump is still president, that can cause a real back, th a real twice back there. Over time, muscles start to get rocky and unsturdy, and no <laughs> Millie Rock or glass of milk could, could ever save that, man. So I these, agree. these are not the only things that gets bitches shaken. Not just muscle spasm, man. Remember in freshman year when they viciously forced you to write a 10 to 15 page paper on topics you never cared about? Yeah, I have it right here. Remember, awesome. Remember how you ran and came back, ran and sat down, and then secretly wished your roommate died so that you could score an A+. Plus? <laughs> yeah, totally. When, when, you, when you pasted your body to that chair, typing away on keys for hours on end, your shoulders simply gave up on you, and this is the reason you get called turtleneck. <laughs> but for some television critics who believe in oppressing our freedom of speech, I'll put that in more rated E for everyone terms. Your posture sucks, <laughs> all right? It just sucks. And it's because of the way our generation hunches over in these deep, you know, in the midst of Twitter quotes, Facebook likes, text messages, all kinds of sh stuff going on, right? Right? You know, brain cells are, are being lost everywhere, all right? And, and you're, losing, you're losing your mobility, man. So today, we're going we're gonna to do some exercises so you can regain that good posture and start slaying the ladies. Got it? Okay, Got here's it. the first one. Put your arms out. Okay, now we're gonna tuck them in, right? We're gonna we're gonna tuck them in, tuck them in. That's okay. All right. Now third step is just behind your back and just give it a good old stretch, a good old, <laughs> a, good old a good old a good old stretch. All right. We're gonna do that ten times. So that's one. All right. Here we are. We're, we're here together. Dead penny. 
and back and strapped. All right, that's two. And back and stretch. Okay, that's three. Here we go. And back and stretch. That's four. Here we go. And back and stretch. And we're halfway done. <laughs> and here we are. And back and stretch. Here we go. And back and stretch. And here we go. And back. And stretch. That seems like a good and a good amount right there, right? Yes. Right. So I think next one, if we, if we get a good old stand up here, we get a we get a nice stand on this one. Yeah, and we get we get the elbows up here, and then we, we get a good old stretch <laughs> right in the back. <laughs> right in the back. <laughs> and you get you stretch your back. You know, maybe maybe sh show off your abs to the ladies. You know, get a good old stretch. You know, and these are these are really things that you can have a seat now. These are really things that you can do on your free time, and and it's gonna change your life forever, man. You're not gonna be called turtleneck ever again. That's right? great. Fantastic. Thank you for being on the show today. I Thank hope you, you learned something about how to yes. have good yes, posture. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. Welcome to CNN, the poor man's fox. I'll catch you later. I'm Justin Miles. Welcome to CNN. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to CNN, the poor man's fox. Today we have a special guest, Justin Miles, to teach us how to do culturally sensitive foreign accents. So Justin, how good are you at speaking in foreign accents? Not gonna lie to you, pretty great. Pretty great, Adam. Yeah. I would like to say that it's my, one of my greatest skills. <laughs> um, I'm, just, I'm just here to show that off and um, hopefully, hopefully help you learn something. Not to toot your own horn or anything, but you're pretty fantastic. All right, Justin, so we have a list of various countries, all right? And we're gonna go one by one, okay? and have you teach us how to do each one. So, the question is, are you really ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. He's ready, folks. It's the final countdown. All right, Justin, here we go, okay? Italian. All right, am I just like going for it, or like, do you have something for me to say, or like? Any, whatever comes to your mind. Okay, well, the thing with Italian is your hands have to be like this almost at all times, and essentially you just have to yell words. And no, we're not eating things. Not yet. Italians eat a lot. I'm no, I know, but you just live the pasta. You know, you just don't say anything. You just don't say anything. Not loud. The bon appetit. No, bon ap no, they don't say that. That's, that's French. But I mean, so sorry. I mean, they could say that. Like, what do they say? I don't know. I'm not Italian. Ciao. Ciao. Buongiorno. Wow. Pizzeria. Hey, no, yeah, your turn. Pizzeria. A la pasta. A la sausage in the pasta sauce. All right. On to the next one, German. You see, German, Germans are very mean. I know, my they're mother's very, German. Very, very mean. And most things they say, like, uh, <laughs> My mother's German. Are you okay? It's okay. Is it gonna just hurt? continue, I'm sorry to take this? away. Well, I mean, they're, they're very mean, you know. They are. But mean. anything they say just sounds very mean. Like, was für mich Eismisse. It sounds mean. What did you just say? I said water with ice, please. But you wouldn't know that. Water with ice, please! No, no. Wasser. <laughs> water? Water with ice, please! Wasser? Water. <laughs> sounds like, Luke, I am your father. Well, that water is German for father. Okay, so that's same where thing. From. Yeah. You learn something new every day, folks. All right, I don't really like this German segment, so we're going to move to Irish. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do I don't know. Say something like that. Say something like potatoes. <laughs> the luck on the Irish, mate. St. Patrick's Day is my favorite holiday. That's what I got for you. I mean. All right, can you do Norwegian? 
I don't even know what country that is. <laughs> it's in Norway, right? Greenland, Iceland, same thing. Next one. All right, Australia. A big topic right now for the spider season. If you haven't seen the memes, check them out. They're really cool. Oh, sorry. What is this one Shrimp on the bob. The dingo ate my baby. The dingo ate my baby. That's Australian, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, my favorite food, all right? French bread pizza. So we're going to move on to French. Okay, it's very like nasally, and they say things like very definitively, like ah ha ha, ah ha ha. Like if you want to say it French, it's 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 pain. So le pain, le pain, le pain, le pain. So if you want your French bread, you français, le pain de 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 français. All right, can we do Southern United States? Not foreign, but like. You we all love a good southern accent. Chick-fil-A. You skipped some on there. Oh, no. It's okay. We're running out of time here, oh, okay. Justin. Uh, the southern United States, um, hmm. I, I really, I'm, I'm not really, what do you think it sounds like? I don't really know. I haven't gone to Chick-fil-A before, so I really wouldn't know what it sounds like. Um, all right, I'm sorry. Sorry to cut you off. I've enjoyed our time. But that's all the time that we have here today. So uh, catch us next week. When? Oh, special guest. He's got huge anus, and he's going to teach us how to fix your own plumbing. I'll see you next time on CNN, Poor Man's Fox. Hi, I'm Marty McFly, and welcome to episode one of Learning ASL with Marty McFly. I'm Marty McFly, AA Sal Hopeful, with Marty McFly. Today with me is Travis. Travis, you're going to teach us today how to do some basic American Sign Language. What do you got for us? So for now, we're going to start with just basic alphabet, just A through Z. So you want to get your whoever dominant hand Oh yeah, hand absolutely. My dominant hand. I'm righty so, <laughs> all day. Perfect. So it's going to be A. A. So make a fist like this, thumb pointing out, like this. Oh, like this. Yep. B. B. C. That one's pretty standard. Really? D, like whoa, that. Whoa, whoa. E, kind of like make it like a monkey paw. F. F. G, so you're just like a finger thumb out like this. G, like you're going to pinch someone, <laughs> maybe. Literally. But H. H. I, just pinky out. Whoa, I. J, just literally just make the J sign with the pinky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going to have to do that one for me one more time. Up J. Pinky out, and then just make a J, so oh. J. Flick it a wrist. K, so it's going to be two fingers out like this, thumb in between. Little peak job there. L, blue, just make an L sign. M, so M's going to be thumb in front of the pinky, and then three fingers out like this, M. M. And the same thing, just going to put the thumb in between the middle finger and the ring finger. N. O, make O. P, make a K just down. Q, make a G sign, also down. R, kind of like make a promise. S, just going to be like this. T is like this. T. U, just two fingers up. V, make a V, like a P sign. I'm going to tell you, my hand is very, very tired. I know, it's very, it's very tiring. <laughs> w. That one's standard. Very standard. X is going to be like this, kind of make like a hook. With How the hell? Ring. How does that X. mean X? Don't ask me. Uh, <laughs> y is kind of like this. And then Z, just take your index finger, make a Z. OK, they didn't think very thorough with that one. That's just Z. All right, whatever. OK, next, I think you were going to teach me how to uh, spell my name now. We're going to yep. put some, some of those letters together. Yep, so in order for that, you're going to need a couple signs for him. So I'm going to say my name is going to be me, name. My name. And then for me, it would be like Tyler, T-Y-L-E-R. OK, let me see if I remember mine right. So my name, M-A-R. Mm -hmm. T, like this. T, Y. Perfect. Awesome. And you know what? 
Let's throw in numbers. Numbers, okay, no. let's do numbers. So we've got one, oh, basic. that makes sense. Two. Two. Three. Three. three like this, yeah, because three, that's has w. Has to be a yeah. certain way. Four. Four. Five. Now this work is tricky. Okay. Six. Whoa, whoa, okay, six. six. Seven. Seven. Eight. So you're basically just going down your, the line of fingers there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nine. Nine. And ten, just thumb out, shake it. Ten. Cool. All right. And you want to learn some colors? Sure. I'm down to learn anything. All right. So this is colors. Colors. So we got blue. Blue. How is this different from A or whatever? You just kind of like shake it like blue. Oh, blue. Brown. Brown. Tan, same thing with brown, just tan, t make team slide down your face. Makes sense. This is purple. Purple. Red. And I think we're just gonna end it off with white. White just five, yep, five hand and white. I like that one, all right. That sounds great. And you know what? I think, you know, for a basic crash course, I think we picked up pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. I took, took a lot away from today's session. Well, I'm just going to finish it off by saying thank you for joining us on episode one of Learning ASL with Marty McFly. I'm Marty McFly, and we want to thank my guest, Travis, for coming in today, and we'll see you next time.